Alright guys, today we are doing a repair attempt video on this IBM ThinkPad R51 that I have. This is a ThinkPad from the transition period after uh, Lenovo became involved with the production. Um, as you can see, copyright 2005 Lenovo, manufactured for Lenovo. However, it is still branded as an IBM. As you can see there, if we open it up, you can see here, it's the model R51. Um, so, this was after Lenovo took over the ThinkPad process, but it's still branded as an IBM, and it still has the classic ThinkPad look to it, like the keyboard design, the uh, track point and everything, you have the Axis IBM, um, all that stuff. You have the keyboard light up here, you can see the function button for that, function key. Um, it's a very classic design, I love this laptop. It's about 10 years old, so it's well beyond its useful lifespan, however it can still do the basic things like browsing the internet. Um, playing DVDs, the lighter computer games it can still play. And I really like this for typing, because I like the uh, feel of the keyboard. It's the older type of laptop keyboard. If I get my... Nope, my MacBook here. There we go. This is my MacBook. This is actually not too much younger. This is from, like, 2007. 2008. Yeah, 2008. So, it's starting to get up there in age 2, but like like this, it's still useful. Um, but it has the... I think it's called the chiclet style keyboard. I mean, it's okay to type on, but if I'm typing like a long paper or something, I prefer this kind of keyboard. Um, also, I like... Um, this laptop is actually a little bit... This laptop is wider. As you can see. Actually, they're more or less the same width. But this one has a taller screen, so you get more screen space. And also, this laptop... Um, like, you can see, this laptop has a glossy screen, so it reflects light a lot more. The picture looks a little bit better on this one as opposed to this one, but I like this type of screen better because it doesn't have as much glare as opposed to this one. Uh, but... I am getting a new laptop soon. I am actually thinking about getting a ThinkPad as my new laptop because they're rather well built, usually don't come with a, bu a bunch of bloatware. Um, it's just a basic laptop, it does what you need it to do, and all that stuff. And I know a lot of the newer ThinkPads actually have a drainage, drainage system, so if you spill water onto it, it goes through the keyboard and drains out the bottom which I think is kind of neat. Of course, I don't plan on spilling water on my computers anytime soon, but if that were to happen, that'd be nice. And I am, like, I'm going to be going to college in a year or two, so I'm going to want a new laptop that can last that long, because both of these laptops are well beyond their useful lifespan. I mean, this computer is about 7, 8 years old. This computer is about 10 years old. So... They're both beyond their useful lifespan, um, at least for whatever. Like, I can still use both of these to type up a Word document or do a PowerPoint or something like that, um, even basic web browsing, but the Internet continues to get more and more complex, and these computers cannot handle it. But anyway, what is the problem with this laptop? Well, the fan is not working. So if I turn the computer on, see it lights up there, ThinkPad, screen, and then fan error. And you might be able to hear, but, well not here, but the fan is not spinning inside here. So I'm going to attempt to fix that. Um, 
I looked into the problem, and it's a it could be a couple things. Either the fan is broken and needs to be replaced, or it's just dirty and needs to be cleaned. Sometimes that can fix the problem, and I'm hoping that is the case, so I don't have to replace the fan. The reason I don't want to replace the fan is because the cheapest price for the fan that I could find was $25, which is a little more than I'd like to pay for a fan. And that was just on Amazon. When I checked every other place, they wanted like 50 or 60 bucks for a fan. And I was like, yep, yeah, no. <laughs> not going to pay that much for a fan. The other thing could be a board problem, like a system board problem, and if that's the case, then this computer is basically worthless. But I think it's a, either a broken or dirty fan. I'm hoping it's just a dirty fan so I can just take this apart, clean it, and get it over with. But anyway, so let's unplug it. There's the power adapter. And let's remove the battery. This battery is kind of nearing the end of its useful lifespan. Um, it still holds a charge, but I think my sister said that this only lasts about 15-20 minutes before it goes dead. This was my sister's laptop for a long time, and she recently just got a new laptop. I think it's a MacBook Air that she got. So, um... She gave this to me, and then, of course, at the same time she gave it to me, it decided to stop working. So, convenient on her part. So anyway, I've got my bag of screws in here. I ordered a bunch of screwdrivers off of Amazon, specifically for use with my Nintendo stuff. Like, it has the two game bit screws, and then it also has two very small pre precision screwdrivers. One of them is a Phillips screwdriver, the other one is a Tri-Wing. There's also a couple of really small... So I got this pouch with that. And then I put some of my other screwdrivers in there, like my really small flat blades. I have some other precision screwdrivers in there from when I got a replacement screen for my iPod Touch. And then I just also have a good old Phillips screwdriver in there. So just the basic stuff, pretty much any screwdriver that you would need to repair electronics. And I also have these little pieces of plastic in here for prying stuff up. So one convenient thing about these ThinkPads is that they show you the different screw sizes. So you have one, two, three, slash, four, and five. And on here you can see where every screw is. You have, like, this would be size two size 3, size 4, uh, size... I don't see any 1's. There's a size 5. But it's kind of nice that they show you the different sizes for all these screws. Anyway, let's start taking this apart. Alright, I got all the screws out. I'm using my laptop as a screw separator. You have size 1, size 2, size 3, 4, and 5. Um, there are other screws, but they aren't numbered, so I assume that they aren't necessary for taking the keyboard out. Um, when you open it up, there's a ribbon cable connecting to the keyboard, and then you have this little tiny cable which popped off, which plugs in there, and that, I believe, goes to the trackpad. Then you can also see the little cable there that goes to the screen. There's one on each side. Um, inside of here is actually pretty clean, other than the fan. In there, I think that's the backup battery. There's the DVD-ROM drive. There's the hard drive caddy thing. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. That's the hard drive. This is the uh, expansion card slot. But inside here, it's actually pretty clean other than the fan, which is what we're going to be taking a look at. I think I just found the problem right there. It was stuck. It was not moving. Now it is moving. So I am going to clean this out, but now that it's moving, I am actually going to see if the power is on now. Oh wait. It would help if I put the battery on, wouldn't it? Um...
All right. There we go. The fan is moving. How about that? I literally just had to take the computer apart and touch the fan. Now the fan is not moving, however, it is still moving freely, so I think it's okay. You can hear the hard drive moving. Um, there's our RAM. And Windows is starting up. Ah. Of course, she has a password on here. I'm going to have to fix that. This little piece of plastic must have fallen out. I heard something snap whenever I started to take the keyboard off, but whatever. This thing still held together pretty well. I do know that my sister dropped this thing a few times, and honestly, if you look at this thing, you can't even tell. Like, there's no scratches or scuffs or anything, except for, like, one or two small places where the, uh, plastic has chipped off, like right here, but that's like literally one piece that I found. Also, here where the Windows XP logo was, it's peeled off, but the silver is still there. Um, anyway, so we can take a look at the inside here. I'm still going to clean out this fan that might keep it from stalling in the future. Um, there's our battery there. There's RAM. I think this has one and a half gigs of RAM installed. Um, hard drive's clicking away. And then somewhere in here is the processor. What's this thing? Made December 28th, 2005. I'm guessing this is the Wi-Fi card, the wireless card, and these two cables coming off of it must be the antennas, because I see main and auxiliary, and one cable is going over there, the other one goes this way, over to here, so yeah, I'm going to assume that that is the wireless antenna. Um, there's our FireWire port there. Microphone and headphone jacks, Ethernet and modem, S video output, that's interesting to see. Two USB ports, VGA out, and I think on the back is the power and the parallel port for a printer. Anyway, the cable I disconnected is just for the touchpad. The uh, track point still works and these buttons still work, so they're connected to the keyboard. Anyway, I can't really do anything until my sister tells me her password. I assume that she doesn't need this anymore because she has transferred all of her data to her new laptop and she's using that. She has no need for this anymore. In fact, like I said, she gave it to me. But I'm going to clean out the fan and then I'm going to put this back together. So, All right, I got the password in. Turns out it was just one, two, three, four. <laughs> and it even said um, for the password, like you get a password hint and it just said count to four. <laughs> but here we are. Let's see how the battery is holding up. It's been running off the battery for about 15 minutes. And it says 30 minutes remaining, so down to 73%. And that was from a full charge. Um. Alright, so let's see what we have on here. I like the background she has. We have Avast Antivirus. Um, Office 2007. What else do we have? Uh, VLC Media Player, QuickTime, uh, iTunes, which probably needs to be updated. There we are, the whole Office... 2007 suite, Google Chrome, Windows Movie Maker, 
uh, Internet Explorer. Um, that's pretty much it. She really didn't have a lot on here. I think she has some documents on here. Oh yeah, at one point Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 was installed. I used to use this for Roller Coaster Tycoon before I got my own computer. Um, which would be this one. Uh, my videos, wonder if there's anything in there. Really isn't. <laughs> um, downloads. Stuff like that. But yeah, so... That's basically it. So this battery, it still works, but it is getting to the point that it needs to be replaced. Same with this one, though this one, the battery's still a little bit better. Uh, this one would need a new battery before this one does. But, um... Let's open up iTunes, let's see what she has in there. This computer's taking a little while, though it hasn't been used in about four months. So, hard drive probably needs to... clicking away. You can see the light, it's almost completely on. Um, so we have 21 Adele. Oh man, she only has like three of the songs. Adele is like one of the only modern pop artists that I don't mind. Like all these other people, like Avril Lavigne, I could care less. Bruno Mars, eh. He's okay. I don't mind him. He actually has some talent. Uh, she has a lot of country on here. Journey Greatest Hits, that's good. American Idiot, that's alright. Katy Perry, why? Jump 5. Beauty and the Beast. Huh. Les Miserables soundtrack. <laughs> Anna Montana. Oh my god. Selena Gomez. Wow. Twisted. That's actually, a, it's like a parody musical. Uh, Thoroughly Modern Millie. Our high school did that a couple years ago. Wicked. That's actually a decent musical. Essential Weird Al Yankovic. And Children of Eden, which is a very good musical by Stephen Schwartz, who did Wicked. But looks like that's about all she has on here. Whoops. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna... I don't want to delete this stuff yet. But... Um... I'm gonna ask her if it's alright if she has everything on her new laptop. And then, uh... Once she gives me the yes, I'm gonna clear out everything on here. I'm not sure if I'll do a clean install of Windows, because this is a relatively fresh install. Um, I'll just delete all of her stuff and change the account name, change the password. But yeah, I mean, I can't use this too much because it is a 10-year-old laptop, but it does still have some use. Like, like I said, it has a nice keyboard that I can use for typing. I prefer this kind of keyboard a lot more than this kind. Um, so that'll be good for that sort of thing. And it can still do basic web browsing, it can do some PC games and all that. Um, it is running Windows XP, which is completely obsolete at this point. At least by Microsoft, they've stopped supporting it. However, it does still have uses. So, that's all for today. I'm going to get this all back together.
and then we'll see how it runs. Alright, so everything's back together. Got all the screws in and everything. Um, I really do like the uh, thing they have with, like, they actually label the different screws. There, let me get this one in a little bit more. Can I? And that's as far as it's going to go before I start stripping it. But, um, most laptops, in fact, most electronics in general that I've worked on, uh, they do not give you any indication as to which screw goes where. But this one, like, it numbers all the screws, and I really do like that. Um, like, really, these things were designed to be repaired. That's why I like the ThinkPads. Like, they're very well-built laptops. Like, this is very solidly built. It's heavy. <laughs> it is a lot heavier than this. I mean, like, this is... I mean, it's kind of... It's, it's got some weight to it. But, like, this is definitely heavier. A lot more solid than this. Um, and it's got these steel hinges on it. Um, really good quality material, and it's, like, like I said, it's designed to be repaired. You take out all these screws, they're all labeled, so you don't put them back in the wrong places, and then you open it up, and you can take the keyboard out, and you have everything. Um, so, really well-built laptops. To this day, I think they're still very well-built, though I prefer the older ThinkPads. And beeps. I prefer the design of the older laptops. I like the, uh, I like the, uh, feeling of the keyboard a lot better. And it's gonna beep at me. Oh, this is wireless. It's connected. Let's see if I can go online. Fire up Google Chrome. Obviously, I'm going to change a few things. But yeah, this will be a nice secondary laptop. I mean, this is my main laptop for web browsing and all that. Video editing and all that. But I think this would be nice for typing papers for school and all that. Um, like I said, I definitely plan on getting a new laptop because both of these are rather old. But... Um, it's a nice laptop to this day, even though it's about 10 years old. Definitely not the fastest thing in the world. It's still loading the home page. I'm just going to go to Google. Whoops. Let's go to Google Translate, I guess. Nope. Finally loaded the home page. Let's see how long it takes to load Google. Google. Just give me Google. Ah. Will that make you happy if I type www? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Probably just because this computer hasn't been used in a while. It doesn't want to work right. Internet Explorer. What do you mean it can't display the web page? It's connected. Don't know why Google doesn't want to work, but... Whatever. Whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.